In this video, we will solve the questions asked in Maharashtra Set Economics paper of 2025 held on June 15th. The question is, derive the marginal revenue function for the demand function Q is equal to 400 minus 0.1 P, where P is the price and Q is the quantity or output. Options are being given. We need to find out the correct option. Okay, so we have the demand function is Q is equal to 400 minus 0 0.1 p and we are supposed to find out the marginal revenue okay so to find out the marginal revenue first we need to find out the total revenue and we know that total revenue is equal to price into output okay so that means we need to solve this equation for p okay so let us transpose this term here so it becomes positive 0 0.1 p is equal to 400 and transpose this q here it gets subtracted it becomes negative q so 0.1 can be written as 1 upon 10 p is equal to 400 minus q now transpose this 10 it gets multiplied to each of these terms that means d will be equal to rather p will be equal to 400 into 10 is 4000 minus 10 into q is 10 q so this is our inverse demand function but we are supposed to find out the marginal revenue so first we need to find out the total revenue which is price into output so p is this very function so we have 4000 minus 10 q to this we multiply by q then our marginal revenue will be equal to the change in the total revenue due to the change in the output that is the derivative or let us uh, you know simplify it uh, further so we have 4000 times q is 4000 q minus 10 q times q is 10 q square 10 q square okay so this is our total revenue function now the derivative of total revenue function with respect to output gives us the marginal revenue so the derivative of q is 1 we are left with 4000 minus derivative of q square is 2q so 2 into 10 is 20q that means our marginal revenue function will be 4000 minus 20q okay so that gives us b option should be correct next question is what is the point elasticity of demand when price is 12 dollar for the demand function p is equal to 60 minus 3q where p is the price q is the quantity so we have this demand function p is equal to 60 minus 3 times q okay so elasticity of demand is being given by that is the change in the quantity demanded due to the change in the price times price upon quantity demanded at that very price so we need to find out dq upon dp since this function is in terms of q we need to solve it for q here okay so rewriting the demand function this is the inverse demand function and let's write it as the ordinary demand function so we get 3q is equal to 60 minus p divide both sides by 3 so q will be equal to 60 upon 3 is 20 minus 1 upon 3 p okay now we can take this derivative dq upon dp but we are being told that when price is equal to 12 what will be the quantity demanded so quantity demanded will be equal to 20 minus 1 upon 3 times 12 so q will be equal to 20 minus 3 ones are 3 fours are 12 which is equal to 16 rather uh, here we get 20 uh, or let's write it here so we get 20 minus 4 which is 16 then elasticity of demand is dq upon dp that means we need to find out this derivative first the derivative of this function with respect to p derivative of a constant is 0 derivative of p is 1 so we are left with minus 1 upon 3 to this we multiply by p which is being given us as 12 divided by quantity demanded at that very price is 16 so here we get 3 ones are 3 fours are then we get 4 ones are 4 fours are so we get negative 1 upon 
फोर विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट रादर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सो इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव नेगेटिव दैट मीनस इफ प्राइस इनक्रीज बाय वन परसेंट क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड विल डिक्रीज बाय जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन एक्लोजड इकनॉमी इफ मार्नल प्रबंस रेट टू कंज्यूम इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मार्नल टैक्स रेट इज थर्टी परसेंट फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर मल्टीप्लायर ऑप्शन आर बी गिवन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके सो गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर मल्टीप्लायर लेट एस डिनोटेड बाई के सबस्क्रिप्ट जी इट इज बी गिवन बाई वन डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस एम पी सी प्लस एम पी सी टाइम्स मार्जिनल टैक्स रेट और मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ टैक्सेशन नाउ इन दिस केस वी कैन सी सो वी हैव वन डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस एम पी सी एम पी सी जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न इज थ्री अपॉन फोर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न इज थ्री अपॉन टेन सो वी हैव वन माइनस थ्री अपॉन फोर प्लस देन वी हैव थ्री अपॉन फोर टाइम्स थ्री अपॉन टेन ओके सो गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर मल्टीप्लायर विल बी इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाय सो हियर इट इज वन माइनस थ्री अपॉन फोर इज इट बिकम्स वन अपॉन फोर सो वी हैव वन अपॉन फोर प्लस थ्री थ्री जार नाइन प्लस rather divide by 4 tens are 40 so we will get 1 whole divided by so let us make denominator same so we get 9 plus 4 is 13 divided by 40 or we get 40 upon 13 so if we write it like this so we have 40 here so 13 threes are 39 then we have point here we have 1 then Thirteen. Okay, so then again we have thirteen zero zero zero. So we will get something three point zero five or something. So since we have three point two here, so let's take this very value. Next question is for the production function Q is equal to twenty times K to the power point five times L to the power point five. Derive capital as a function of labor when the ISO count Q is equal to hundred. Options are being given. We need to find out the correct option. Okay, so we have output that is Q is a function of capital and labor which is equal to twenty times K to the power point five can be written as K to the power one upon two and L to the power point five can be written as L to the power one upon two. Okay, we need to. Find capital is a function of labor in this case, and we are being told that our output level is hundred. Okay, so plug Q is equal to hundred in this equation. So we have hundred is equal to twenty times K to the power one upon two times L to the power one upon two. So we can rewrite it like this: twenty uh, K to the power one upon two L to the power one upon two is equal to hundred. Dividing both sides by twenty, we will get k raised power one upon two, l raised power one upon two is equal to. So we have, if we divide both sides by twenty, we will get here twenty ones are twenty five are. So we get here five. Now we can rewrite it since we need to solve it for k. So k raised power one upon two will be equal to five divided by. And when I transpose it, it gets divided. So we get l raised power one upon two. Which implies k will be equal to when I transpose exponent, it becomes square here. If it is one upon two, it becomes two upon one. So we get here five divided by l raised power one upon two whole square because one upon two will become two upon one. So two upon one is two. That means k will be equal to five into five is twenty five. Okay. Or let us uh, write it again. I don't have the space, so let me make the space here. So we have k is equal to five square divided by 
r is power 1 upon 2 square which is equal to 5 into uh, 5 square is 25 divided by here square this 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are left with l that implies k is equal to 25 transpose this l to the numerator it gets multiplied but exponent sign changes so the exponent is here 1 it becomes negative 1 so this is our capital is a function of labor so the correct option should be 25 l raised power minus 1 next question is find the determinant of the matrix a is equal to 4296501214 options are being given we need to find out the correct option okay so determinant of a that is the determinant of this matrix is equal to so we write first element which is 4 and mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears and take the determinant of the remaining elements that means we delete this row and this column and take determinant of the remaining elements that is 4 times now what is determinant of this 4 2 0 4 so we have 5 rather 5 2 0 4 and its determinant is simply we multiply these two elements so 5 into 4 is 20 minus 0 into 2 is 0 okay then we write the second element with negative sign okay first element is written with positive sign second element is written uh, with negative sign in this uh, case we delete the row and the column in which the second element appears and take the determinant of the remaining element so this row and this column when it is left out so we have 2 9 2 4 and we take its determinant okay so we have 2 4 za 8 minus 9 2 za 18 okay then we write the third element with a positive sign okay the signs change from positive to negative uh, you know so first is positive then negative then positive so we write positive one and we ma uh, multiply it with rather we remove the row and the column in which it appears and take determinant of the remaining element so the remaining elements are two nine five zero this time okay so two into zero is zero minus nine five are 45 okay simple thing so we write the first element uh, and multiply it with this determinant then we write mm, second element with negative sign and delete the row and the column in which it appears and take the determinant of the remaining elements and so on so we will get here 4 times 20 then we have minus 6 is 8 minus 18 is minus 10 then we have plus 1 times minus 45 so we will get here 2 4 are which is 80 so here it is plus 60 then we have minus 45 so it will come out to be 140 uh, minus 45 and it comes out to be 10 minus 5 is 5 then we have 3 minus 3 min 13 minus 4 is 9 so the correct option should be 95 that is the determinant is 95 in this case